little tricky with all these chord changes. Um, I came up with this arrangement. It took me a little while to kind of get it under my fingers because I'm trying to do some of the vocal melody part and some of the horn parts in there instead of just playing what the guitar is doing. So um, we're going to start out. I'm not going to go over all the rhythm stuff. You're just going to have to listen to it. Rhythm's a really difficult thing to kind of, you know, up, down, down, up, eighth notes, sixteenth notes, you know, so if you just listen to the recording, you'll get it in no time. So we're going to start out in an E-flat major chord, right? We're going to play it with G on the bottom, so it's like the first inversion, right? So just bar three down from D down, and then have five on D, four on B. Okay, do a little rhythm. Then we're going to go G-sharp major, six, five, four, four. Okay, and then from there we're going to go up... Um, you're gonna have so it's the it's the timing of it right so you're gonna hang on this until you get to beat three and then you're gonna go up to a B flat eight seven six six so you have and you just go B flat for an eighth note down up and then back to G sharp and then back to E flat. All right. Uh. Okay, and the second time we're going to lead into that Mr. Big Stuff part, right? So when you get to G, uh, G sharp, just hit it for two beats. One, two, and then come up to B flat and give it two upstrokes. And then we're going to lead into Mr. Big Show. We're going to go B flat. And so you're going to have 8, 7, 6, 6 for your B flat. Then you're going to have G sharp with your, uh, with your C on the bottom, right? So we're going to bar 8 from D down, 10 on D, 9 on B. We're going to go up to E flat major, 13, 12, 11, 11. And then we're going to play another E flat major, but we're going to play the first inversion with G on the bottom, right? So we're going to have 10 on A and then bar D, G, and B on 8. So that whole little part, you get a. All right. And that's the part that's tricky. You just got to sit there really slowly with a metronome and just go back and forth. You know, there really is no secret. It's just over and over again, right? Repetition, muscle memory. So that's that part. And the first time we do it, we're going to go. I do some scratchy 16th notes in between. And then I go back to E flat on three and five. And then I changed the rhythm from the G sharp to the B flat to who do you think you are? You know, so we're just. Okay, and the second time. When we get here to this E flat with G on the bottom, we're going to do a little Jimmy Lick. So you bar eight on G and B, and then you hammer on and off. 10 on G, and then catch 10 on D, and then bar D and G on 8, and hammer on and off 10 on D, and catch A on 10. Alright, so that little lick. And then you're back into G sharp, back into B flat, and then we'll go again on three and five E flat, up to G sharp, okay, then up to B flat, and then we'll finish it with an eighth note on G sharp, and that'll lead it into the bridge at C minor, right? So all together, what we have so far for the intro and the first little chorus, you get a... Now we're going to 
to do this horn part. Okay, instead of playing just the guitar part, we're going to do the whole thing, right? So this, this is a little tricky as well. So you're going to have C minor, 10 on D, and then bar G, B, and E on 8. Hit it twice. And then we're going to go C minor, take the same shape up two frets to 10 and 12, and then you're going to have D minor. Just one stroke each, right? And then up to E flat major, 13, 12, 11, 11. Back to D minor, back to C minor, right? So you get... Okay? And there's a lot of upstrokes involved, right? Pick it how you, strum it how you want to, but I think doing a lot of upstrokes because it's at 101 beats a minute, so you gotta kinda... Okay? And after we get back, we're gonna go... Uh, we're gonna hit a uh, F major, 15, 14, 13, 13, and quickly get back to C, C minor on eight and 10, right? Okay, then we're gonna walk back up C minor, D minor to E flat major, and then walk it down D minor to C minor, right? And then we're gonna hit E flat major, and we're gonna hit it just once, right? So, so far you get. Okay, last time, C minor, D minor, E flat. Walk it back, D to C. Then we're gonna go up to F major. 15, 14, 13, 13, hit it twice. And I like to end it and go back to the little chorus part by going E flat major seven. So you're gonna bar six from A down, eight on D, seven on G, eight on B. Give it a little eighth note. And then we're gonna go B flat, eight, seven, six, six, to G sharp major, uh, six, five, four, four, back to E flat. Five, three, four, three. So that whole thing, real slow, you get a... Okay, then you just finish it off with what we did in the intro. everything um, like it's a it can be a real simple song but I kind of made it a little more difficult but um, anyway that's it it's real groovy it's great for your rhythm it's so good for chord changes changing chords quickly and doing all that stuff so just practice it slow and have fun <laughs>